In this video, I'm going to look at whether or not Filipino love scams are as common as what many may believe, or are they failed relationships where the foreign man is crying that he's been a victim of a love scam? I certainly have some very definite views on this, and as always, I'll be calling it as I see it. So be sure to buckle up and stay with me here. Let me be very clear from the outset. Yes, I acknowledge many love scams do go on in the Philippines, and this is even more so the case during recent times with COVID. But I'll also say that many Filipinas are very decent, genuine women who would never be caught up in such deception as committing a love scam. I'll also be very real here and say that YouTube audiences on the whole much rather hear about scam stories simply because of the drama involved and aren't all that interested in happy ever after type of stories. And if you have any doubts around what I say here, then check out my most viewed videos on my homepage and you'll see what I mean. So this being the case, most YouTubers who cover the Philippines will focus mainly on love scam stories in order to get the views. After all, views is what most creators are after in order to grow their channel. Now you can start to see where I'm heading here, and that is, the perception that nearly every Filipino is out to scam you is portrayed via social media, and unfortunately, people tend to believe what they see or read. Now I don't mean to diminish the fact that love scams do go on, because they most certainly do, and that's why I have some videos where I try and educate my viewers around what scams to look out for, and how to identify non-genuine Filipinas rather quickly. And again I'll say that most Filipinas are very genuine in seeking a lifetime partner, so one shouldn't be put off from ever finding such a woman. I do believe, however, there are also many foreign guys who will play on the Filipina love scam stereotype in order to make himself look better when his relationship fails. And right here we need to make a clear distinction between a Filipina who's pretended to be in love with a foreign man to get his money, and a foreigner-Filipina relationship that's ended for whatever reason. We must know that a Filipina love scammer never has any intention of spending her life with you, and in fact, may never even like you. But she'll pretend to be in love with you with the only reason to get your money. A foreigner Filipina relationship where the couple at some point were in love with each other or at least liked each other and they wanted to see where that relationship would go is not a love scam when it fails. It's so easy for the foreign man to look back when he's very hurt around how the relationship ended to have regrets about buying her certain items like jewellery, clothes or helping her to pay bills and maybe even to buy land or build a house. Doing such things are all part of any relationship around the globe, and as adults, we all know that there are never any guarantees in life or love. We enter into a relationship hoping that it will last and we'll be happy together forever, but sometimes it just doesn't pan out that way. The problem as I see it, when a foreigner and Filipina split up is, the foreigner may have regrets not only about the financial cost to him, but also the fact that he feels like a fool, and most likely is seen by a fool by many people around him who are now saying, I told you so. He is now very embarrassed, and he can see how foolish he was to enter into a relationship with a most likely much younger Filipina very quickly. No, he never waited many months before he fell in love with her and started to send her money. Simply, he now sees what others were telling him, that he was too blind to see himself initially. Of course, he wants to make himself look better in some way, because he doesn't want to take on the responsibility, and so now he claims the Filipina never loved him, and she was out to scam him all along. And as I said earlier, for some, this may be the case, but even then, if these guys had done their homework and not rushed into the relationship faster than Superman changes his underpants, then he may not be in this situation. But for many foreigner Filipina couples, the simple truth of the matter is, when the relationship finishes, 
It's just the end of the relationship where the couple decide the relationship wasn't for them. There was never any hidden agenda by the Filipina in the first place. Perhaps she loved you at the start and that changed over time. Or perhaps what you guys thought as love was just infatuation or fondness rather than true love. And there's no shame to admit this and cut your losses. But for a foreign guy to then call out that she did a love scam on him, like we've seen many times on YouTube, it's truly unfair on the Filipina, and in fact, all Filipinas in general, because it feeds the Filipina love scam stereotype. This is why many foreign guys fear entering into a relationship with a Filipina, because they hear so many stories of foreign guys losing much money. But let's face it right here. You can only lose money should you give it. And giving money willingly is not being scammed no matter how you choose to dress it up. Look at it this way. How many couples in the West get together, start dating, get engaged and even married, where he then buys her expensive jewellery, a car and perhaps land and a house before the relationship breaks down? Now I'll guarantee you that very few of these guys will ever say that she scammed him. They may call her every name under the sun, but never will he say that she did a love scam on him. Quite clearly, the widely uneducated stereotypical beliefs around Filipino love scammers is a foreign man's way out of a situation that he finds embarrassing. And he'll tell the whole world about it because simply he'll be believed by many and he'll save some face. The problem is whether a man is a victim of a Filipino love scam or his relationship with a Filipina falls over, is that more often than not, these guys race into the relationship very quickly. He sees a beautiful young Filipina and is flattered by her attention. He likes how this makes him feel, and so the relationship escalates before the two really get to know one another and fail to set a solid foundation for any sustainable long-term relationship. My view is, Certainly many of these relationships that had genuine motives at the start are now being thrown into the one she scammed me basket, which in essence is grossly overinflating the number of Filipina love scammers. And the sad fact here is many viewers will take what these guys say as gospel, and not only will they believe it like it's a plague running through all Filipinas, but they'll also spread the stories where the effect is like a snowball racing down a hill where it gets larger by the second. Something here, no doubt, for us all to consider the next time you hear a story about a foreign guys being a victim of a Filipina love scam. Ask yourself this question. Was he really scammed, or was it merely the end of a relationship? Be sure to check out the card on screen now to identify a Filipina love scam very quickly and easily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.